Hi, it's Brad from Cotswold Farm Machinery. I'm just doing a quick walk round of the X Hire Vestrum 130 CVX. As you can see from the front, smart looking tractor. Obviously you've got a uh, front linkage on this one. The front linkage is operated by one of the rear spools. We have a LISZ 120 loader, and that's just a pipe to standard spool valves, and that can be operated from the joystick inside, which I can show you. Obviously, if we look under here, we can see just about um, the, if we get there, you can see the front suspension, heavy duty front axle, Michelin tires, 440, 65, 28 on the front. We've got a stole loader. The Ally said is the, the stole version. The new ones are now on MXs and this comes with their stole um, coupler as well. Come around to the side there. The battery box is just under here behind these two latches. You can see the clevis hitch, it's never been used. Um, couple of steps up to this one side obviously it's a, it is a working door but often uh, very rarely used exhaust you can see the LED lights all the way around uh, so four on the front there uh, and in fact you do have a set of high beam um, or high mounted front road lights as well as the LED front lights just there as well Coming around to the side there. As you can see, more LEDs around the cab. With these tires, which are the, the most common tires for this one, it is just shy of proud of the of the mud guards. I'm sure if there was something that we needed to do here, we can do it. Um, on the back, we've got 540, 6538s. See the controls for the rear there. So that's a spool and um, three point linkage and PTO. PTO cover, if I pop that off, there's the 540 on there. You can see here, so these two are the electric spools. These two are the manual spools. So one of these is the, for the front linkage. One of them is for the um, pickup pitch there, the push out on the pickup pitch. These are all removable. They're all soft lines. So they can just be popped out and popped in as, uh, as needed. Obviously you can see underneath the suspension for the cab. It has got ABS or EBS as some manufacturers refer it to. Um, and lights just on there as well. There is three pin power just to the back there. And then on this side, we got a dipstick and a um, um, washer fluid bottle. Standing back again, you can see the rear controls just there. You can see all the LED lights all the way around. You can peek some of these round just to turn to the side a little bit more so you can get a bit more side view. But obviously this is, since it's not done a lot of work uh, and they would have very rarely been driven at night, um, they wouldn't have used much in the way of or, or moved them round almost for the best position for the tractor. Um, if we jump up inside, in fact, just before we do that, we've got the add blue tank, we've got the uh, fuel tank, lockable caps, I think both of them, uh, and then we got a toolbox there as well. As we jump up, a bit of an overview. It's got the new box on the front, as this is the new uh, low roof cab. So that's just a, for a bit of storage for your sandwiches or whatever. Um, and it's air conditioned as well. Um, forward and backward with electronic park brake. So you do not need to use your manual park brake, although it is there just in case you are used to it. That's absolutely fine. But the, the electric one has to be on for it to start and so on. So you'd always put it back into it. 
and you do not need to use that. The uh, uh, instructor seat, comfortable seat, um, nice for anyone who is uh, having a passenger with you. Uh, they have got a, a little can holder and a bigger drinks holder um, and a few bungees to hold paperwork down, which is kind of ideal for that. There's a little storage area behind here. It's only really for small stuff. Um, sometimes people just have the odd screwdriver and whatever they need. As we come inside, we have the main joystick. And as you can see, it's a linear motion effectively. So this would be max speed. This would be 50% of whatever speed you have set, which is settable on here on this little dial. And that would be zero again. So then you wouldn't have to touch the brakes. It would come to a stop, uh, albeit gently. Um, so you, you may want to use brakes in a uh, bit of a pinch, but most of the time you actually can find you just roll to a stop forward and backward on here as well so you don't even have to use this here once once you put it in forward it resets itself to the middle and you can just use these two buttons uh these two buttons here will take you up through and i should turn the key on in fact i'll get a key out quickly um when you press that button you go up and down through the ranges so there's three ranges and they can have your individual speeds set in each of them so I've just turn the tractor on there so as you can see there's one, two, and three. And as I adjust, might just be able to see it. As I adjust this, you can adjust the speed in each one. And then if I go up and down through there. So at this very moment, the way that it's set in 0.03, at 100%, it's to try and do 0.03k uh, per hour. Here, it'll try and do half of that, 1.5, uh, 0 0.015 uh, kg, um, kg. Um, kph. So, uh, rear linkage up and down on there and a spool valve as well so you can operate one of your spools just on here you don't even have to operate, go to here now one of these i think is actually um not actually connected to anything it's, it's effectively a spare so two of these will operate and two of these operate obviously um and then here's the standard joystick so up and down on here will operate the front link uh, front loader and then if you hold this button down here and go left to right it will operate the the third service so if you've got a grab on effectively you can put it down go into it do that close up your grab lift up and there's no uh, no extra buttons no having to move around or anything like that generally with this joystick people use this uh to control going forward and backwards so as they're doing that they'll be doing this with their left hand while still driving as well almost um as you can very well see, not to go away from the gearbox and area very quickly, just as I remember it, with the, the new cab, you have a low mounted window wiper. So this covers a way more area than it used to. Originally, it used to be up here and it just cover a little like pizza, 45 degree shape. Uh, whereas now it covers way more of that in one go. Um, the wide angle roof window, you can see there, and there's a very small gap between the two windows so you can actually see very well um yeah you get an absolutely massive view in comparison to the other ones two speakers on both sides a light on here and actually a little hatch up here to uh to get into the top there we are. so going just down onto here so effectively this is um a your your hand throttle so you just push that forward and you'll be doing whatever half of the revs are um and then this is actually a rev limiter and then effectively the tractor do, does all the math to be able to use this power without su su succeeding the this limit to then get you whatever speed you desire it's it's not overly complex and it's one of the ones where once you get used to it uh, it makes perfect sense and it'll be very easy to use and you do as well have the manual uh, the uh, set presets on here as well which you can set um, you can change the aggressiveness very simply of how aggressive the cvx is just on here three buttons basically means this is the most aggressive it can be um, and going on to the rest of this 
uh, there's headland management. I, some of these buttons will not always be available without having the screen effectively. So some of these, like the headland management, will may or very well may not work. As well as the auto steer, uh, the reversing fan isn't an option. Uh, what is an option? Sorry, but not on this one. It's a rare option, truth be told. And then we got diff lock, auto diff lock, four wheel drive, and auto PTO. And then we got a nudge for the uh, three point linkage, and then you can very well just control the three point linkage on this dial here, and your draft control. PTO just up and forward. It's beeping at me. And if you do need to get off the seat whilst using the PTO, so if you're doing tanking or anything like that, where you, you need to get out and, and keep an eye on whatever's happening, you just have to press this button down. And once you've done that, you can get up off the seat uh, or it will try and cut it out. You can uh, adjust the front suspension just on here. So this would take the suspension up and that will take the suspension down and uh, you can effectively, and then just tap it a little bit to uh, to get any any which way you can nudge it up and down to get the, the exact right height. Um, obviously less suspension will mean you'll inevitably get less comfort. More suspension you'll generally get more, but most people don't max it out at any one point. Um, the PTO, three speed PTO, three pin, three pin power, speed, sensor readout so if you're using a fert spreader that had like a like it for our, our sake a a coon q uh would have a quantron control box that would plug into that and that would basically allow the tractor to speak to the control box and tell it uh, how fast you're going um pto brake and a bit more power there so coming up here we have air, air conditioning lights this will select from your bonnet lights to your high beam, uh, your high mounted lights. So if you had something like a, a front weight on um, or anything like that, then you can flip to these and you'll still have headlights when you're driving down the road and they don't blind people. A second set of power just on there. Uh, DAB radio is it's just missing the, the little outside piece, but we will absolutely sort that. Um, going back to the window here there is a lovely system to be able to cover that so if you are finding you're driving down the road and it is uh, very bright you can do a, a very good job of covering it so you do not get blinded and this actually does come down further as well so you can actually do quite a good job of blocking a lot of light out with still kind of being able to drive with it but i wouldn't recommend that um as you can see just on there i'm in the wind in the mirror uh fuel all the all the different bits of lighting you'll see on there just pop up whether or not it's a, it's a warning or anything like that um you'll see this basically remains the same this will tell you which direction you're going in and all the rest of it obviously it's in park right now and your revs um add blue and so on so obviously fuels up here and temperature um coolant temperatures up there um going down onto here you can show the time there so it's actually a little bit higher than what i originally thought it's just shy of 400 hours now um which i can adjust on the quote um so yeah thank you for watching um and if there's anything else i can do do ask me uh obviously air seat as well just a note um and armrest as well very nice very quickly i thought i'd just cover um some of the driving aspects of this gearbox so i'll just show you off the, the window wiper way bigger than previously before um the loader obviously is just up and down on here and then like i say if you do that side to side that will give you yeah you can just about see the pipes moving the third service on there and then, so, so currently we're in forward, so we're completely stopped, not touching the brakes, it won't go anywhere. And then as I press this, and let my foot off and it comes to a stop, so. And right there, I didn't touch the brakes. I literally put my foot on the accelerator and let it off again. And again, same with here. Again, you can adjust the aggressiveness of that. Um, no. Put 
put it into reverse just on there. Nice and gentle. It's a little bit more gentle now. It won't try and stop as aggressively. And if I was uh, go still driving and operating and being a bit quicker on the move, this would obviously be a bit quicker in the shuttling back and forth as well. So it wouldn't be, it'd be a little bit less smooth, but it'd be a lot quicker. Uh, whereas in this mode, it, it kind of keeps it quite nice and smooth. So say we're going backward and then we're going forward, just like that. Just foot on the accelerator the whole time and it worked all out and it was nice and smooth, but again, it would be more aggressive if we pump that up to um, three there. If there's any other questions, do, uh, do not hesitate to ask. Uh, I'm always willing to show you a bit more about it and go through it. And again, actually, whilst we're here, uh, we'll put it down to 0 0.03. If I max this out, Effectively, you may not be able to see it, but we are very slowly moving. It is just inching along. I don't know if that that is effectively the slowest you can go, but as we, as you see, we can go up through the speed. I'm just scrolling the wheel. We are starting to move a little bit. And now we're up to 2.4 and all the way back down to 0.3. And we're basically not moving again.